observability is a concept in software engineering that refers to the ability to understand and diagnose a system's behavior and performance through the collection, analysis, and visualization of its internal state and external interactions. In other words, it is the ability to observe what is happening inside a system without having to rely on guesswork or assumptions. Observability is important because it allows software engineers to identify and troubleshoot issues more quickly and effectively, as well as gain insight into how the system is performing and how it can be improved. To achieve observability, a system must generate and expose relevant data in a way that can be easily analyzed and understood by humans or machines. This may involve instrumenting code, logging events, monitoring metrics, tracing requests, or analyzing system performance in real time. So in simple words, throughout the lifetime of an application, it is vital that you are able to understand what is occurring and what has occurred within the system. That is what observability is all about. Achieving observability in a system typically involves several steps. So here is a high level overview of the common steps involved in this process. The first is identify. Identify the key components and subsystem of the system that require observability. This may involve determining which part of the system are critical to the overall performance and functionality of the application and which ones are most likely to encounter issues or bugs. Then we define, define the metrics and logs that need to be collected from the system. This may involve defining what data points are important to monitor, such as request rates, response times, error rates, or other key performance indicators. Once we have identified and defined the metrics, we implement the instrumentation in the system to generate and collect the relevant data. This may involve adding code to the system to log events, collect metrics, or press requests, as they move through the system. Then we aggregate and store the data generated by the system. It's about using the tools like logging frameworks, monitoring platforms or databases to collect, store and analyze the data. And then we visualize and visualize the data to analyze it further. And it's about gaining the insight into the system's behavior and performance using the dashboard, charts, or other visualization tools to display the collected data in a way that it, that it is easy to understand and interpret. Using the insights gained from the data to identify issues and troubleshoot the problems, it may involve using the collected data to identify the performance bottlenecks, diagnose errors or bugs, or make improvements to the system's architecture or design. And then finally, we must iterate on the process by refining the metrics and logs as needed. Improving the instrumentation to capture more data and using the insights gained to make ongoing improvements to the system.